how to connect WordPress website to a database 2023 full tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, basically, I'm going to be showing you how you're going to integrate a database with your WordPress website, which can enhance its functionality and enable dynamic content management. So in this tutorial, I will guide you through the whole process of it, where I'm going to connect your website to the database. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, before we start with this video, please make sure to watch it from now till the end. So you have a full experience and, uh, you know, a full understanding. So the first thing I'll need you guys to do is to launch up your WordPress dashboard. The next thing you're going to need to do is, of course, you're going to make sure that you are on the website that you want to, you know, transfer your data from. So let's say I'm going to come over here and uh, you can go to any local host website. OK, so let's say I'm going to write localhost dot WordPress. OK. So let's say I'm going to add that and we're going to click on enter and obviously it will give us some random local host WordPress website that you're going to have. Okay. Or you can just go to any other website that you have on WordPress. So let's say I have my very own website over here. If we go on WooCommerce, we're going to get our separate website or you can get any other domain that you have that you want to, you know, transfer data from that could be your GoDaddy or anything, you know, of the sort. So basically when you have the other database that you want added you're going to go ahead and you're going to go on plugins now once you go on plugins basically it's going to ask you to either add a plugin or install one that's currently there so basically over here what you're going to do is you're going to upload plugin okay so to upload plugin you're going to click over here and that is exactly what we're going to do or you can simply search for an example of a database. So you can come here and we're going to go ahead and write database as so. And we're going to click on enter. And once you click on enter, there's a lot of different uh, things. OK, but, you know, the most famous one would be participants database. You know, a lot of people use this or contact form seven database. So these are the most popular ones. And a lot of people use these two. But obviously it depends on the user and how the user likes to approach the things they're working with. So mainly in this case, the user build and maintain a fully customizable database of participants, members or anything. And a lot of people like using this. Personally, I would recommend going on writing WP all in one. OK, you're going to write that and let's see what we get. So this first one right here, all in one WP migration, you can see over here, it says move, transfer, copy, migrate and backup with a site in one click. So you can either install it from here or you can just go ahead and install it by coming here. You're going to write all in one WP. OK, you're just going to write that in your Google. And once you do that, obviously, you can download it from ServeMask or any other website that provides these kind of plugins. So let's say we have this plugin over here. You're just going to click on download plugin and it's going to take you to the plugin download page. Just click on download once again. And there you can see it starts downloading the zip file. Now we're not going to unzip the file because uh, we just need to upload the actual zip file. So you're going to click on upload. And once you click on upload, obviously it's going to give you the option. You are going to make sure that your account is upgraded because we need at least the business account to actually add the all in one WP migration tool. OK. Without the upgraded business account, you will not be able to add the migration tool. So once you have the account and you add the zip file that you you know have, and what's going to happen is down here in plugins, when you have the installed plugin uh, and you've you know fully set it up all in one WP migration, what's going to happen from there is you're basically going to activate it. OK, you're just going to stay in your plugins. And obviously, once this plugin is in the whole flow, you're going to make sure to activate it. And basically, when you hit the export button to bundle your database, media files, plugins and themes into one tidy file, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to export your whole, you know, uh, WordPress data. OK, any type of data that you have in WordPress, it's going to have it all. So that's obviously to export your current data. But then you also get an import option An import will basically import any other data into this website. So basically you're going to have, it's going to give you a small text prompt that I'm going to show you. So 
once you come here, we're going to write W all in one. Okay. I'm going to write export and I'm going to show you what the box is going to look like when you see the overall output and look at it. So this is what the text box is going to look like here. It's going to say find text, replace with another text in the database. So this is basically a really good feature. And uh, down here, you can have any, you know, example spam commands like do not export spam commands. Now, once we get the hang of all of that, and you know, once we've understood how we're going to actually go ahead and use these different plugins that we are allowed to, you know, actually get a whole round of. Basically, from there on out, what we're going to want to do is in this text section, we're going to find the database that we want to export. And once you do that over here and down into the export to section, it's going to give you different files uh, like file, FTP, meta, mega extension, you know, different types of things, even Amazon S3, Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Cloud. Those are all, you know, extensions that you can, um, you know, essentially transport your data to but those are obviously paid you know you're gonna have to pay 99 dollars per year or something like that for a you know more you could say cheaper or a more expensive approach uh do make sure to have some you know custom cloud server and you know you can get your very own custom cloud servers through um you know hostinger and webflow all these great host websites so let's say I'm going to go over to hosting your cloud. Okay. You're just going to write that. And it basically gives you your very own cloud hosting. Obviously this is going to be much cheaper and it's going to be much easier to transport all your data from your, you know, WordPress all in one WP migration to hosting your cloud. And once you transport it to hosting your cloud, what's going to happen from there is it's going to ask you to download the local host, which will basically allow you to download a, um, in a way, a zip file of your database okay and once you understand the whole logic of that basically it's going to be a piece of cake from there and also do make sure to create backups on your all-in-one wp migration because backups are extremely necessary for these kind of things and uh, the same you're going to do this was obviously all the setup or and settings that i told you for the export settings for the import you're going to do the same the only difference is that in imports case, you're just going to import a URL or a database that you're already going to have downloaded. So let's say, you know, in export, we downloaded the local host by uploading it to some, uh, you know, custom cloud. In importing's case, we're already going to have that local host file somehow. Okay, we're obviously going to have to derive it from somewhere. And then you're just going to paste it onto your WordPress application. And once you paste that, it's a piece of cake from there. You know, everything's all good from there. So yeah. That's how you're going to import different databases. And the benefits of all in one WP, in my opinion, are that it's extremely quick. You know, hit the export button to bundle your database, unpack the file at the new location, use the drag and drop feature, and all should be good to go. And look at the feature spotlights. You know, it supports custom uploads. It's available over in 50 language transitions, accessible for individuals and disabilities. No limitations on hosts or operating systems, supports a vast range of hosting providers, long list of premium extensions, mobile device compatible, intelligent and flawless auto replacement, full product support, browse WPress files online, extract WPress file on your computer, and lots more. You know, there's a tons and tons of features that you can go with when you're connecting your WordPress website to a database using all in one wordpress migration so yeah that's essentially about it for this video that is how you're going to export databases now if you found that video helpful please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know down in the comments below and i'll be making more for you but yeah essentially that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching till the end i hope you all have a great day and that was all from me goodbye